Hi everyone, in this video I am going to explain about thermocouple as a transducing element. So we know already transduced is nothing but a device which is used to convert one form of energy into another form. So we have seen several transducers in the previous videos. So now I am going to explain how a thermocouple element or a device used to convert one form of energy into another form, electrical voltage to temperature, temperature to electrical voltage. So a thermocouple is a transducer that converts thermal energy into electrical energy. So thermal energy takes the heat temperature that converts into electrical quantity like voltage or current and is constructed by joining wires made from two dissimilar metals to form a junction. Voltage is produced when the temperature at the junction changes. So we are taking two dissimilar wires. Uh, this is one wire. And it is another wire let it be metal 1 and this is metal 2 so two metal wires we are taking metal 1 and metal 2 these two metals are from different types like it may be an aluminium or it may be a copper and it is a copper and it may be a constant and constant and it may be an aluminium so like that we are taking different metals metal 1 metal 2 these two are completely different so that's why we are taking a dissimilar metals dissimilar metals are joined together to produce a junction so it is the junction where we are applying the heat to produce some electrical change through this wire okay and the concept of the thermocouple is based on the Seebeck effect which states that if dissimilar metals are joined at a point they will generate a small measurable voltage when the temperature of the point of connection changes so whenever we are heating the junction definitely some current will flow across the junction and that current we are going to measure so this effect whenever we are giving the some temperature the junction gets heated and we are giving we are producing a voltage that this effect is nothing but a seebeck effect the amount of voltage depends on the amount of temperature change and the characteristics of the metals. So, so depending upon the type of metal we are using, whether it is aluminum, copper or constant or whatever may be the metal, that determines the amount of change with respect to the temperature. The structure of thermocouple consists of two insulated wires connected to a measuring device. Thermocouples serve as a safety and monitoring gauge for various process and equipment. So the process of thermocouple can be seen in the image below. I will show an image in the next slide where the temperature is raised at the junction of the wires on the left and the change in the temperature is displayed on the gauge at the right. So the process of uh, this one is the same. Now so metal 1, metal 2, these two are two metals joined here. See this one is a metal 1 and this is metal 2. Two different metals are taken. This is the junction where we are applying some temperature T1. So because of this some contacting leads which are insulating leads are connected here. This is one wire and this is another wire. These two are provided through some insulating material in order to avoid some leaking effects. Okay, and here we are going to measure the output voltage across these two wires. Okay, so if this is the temperature reference where we can take what is the amount of temperature we have got, it can be calculated here. Okay, so what are the two different wires we can take? One is a metal aluminum, copper, copper, constantin or constantin or aluminum, different types of materials we can use. So what are the advantages of this thermocouple? So simple working principle, very simple working principle and very easy to understand. Short response time, within very shortest time we can get the voltage change with respect to the changes in the temperature. And it is a low cost also, wide temperature ranges. So uh, instead of a small changes, we can go for the large and multiple temperature ranges so that we can measure the number of different temperature ranges in any industries. And the rugged construction self powered and small in size variety in types color coded no self heating definitely we should go for the heating element it should be different element okay we are not producing the temperature within the device other devices will produce the temperature and we are measuring the temperature voltage changes corresponding to the temperature by using this thermocouple device 
some disadvantages are also there for this thermocouple transducer non linearity is there accuracy is low somewhat accuracy is low and interference can cause errors interference as yes, we are using two different metals some interference is there because of that interference it may produce some errors so it is the oldest technology it is not the novel technology it is somewhat old technology it needs calibration so every time we need to calibrate the scale newly so needs calibration corrosion is there and voltage pickups needs compression so these are the different disadvantages of this thermocouple and uh, connection problems are also there so this is about a thermocouple device as a transducer which converts uh, uh, thermal energy into electrical energy like voltage or current some applications are there for this thermocouple so thermocouples are used in applications that range from home appliances home applications to industrial process to electric power generation to furnace monitoring and control to food and beverage processing to automotive sensors to aircraft engines to rocket satellites and spacecrafts so several applications are there where we can use a wide range of applications we have found in the thermocouple transducers uh, we can use in the power generation furnace monitoring and control food and beverage processing automotive sensors aircraft engines rocket satellites and spacecraft wherever this temperature involvement is there there we are going for the using of this thermocouple element okay so this is about uh, thermocouple devices next one is variable inductance transducer by seeing the name we can understand and we can estimate what is this uh, transducer stands for so variable resistance transducer we have seen variable resistance transducer is nothing but we have taken a variable resistor or a potentiometer uh, we have applied some voltage from here to here between some 5 volts or 10 volts we have taken a wiper so it, depending upon the position of this wiper we are calculating the amount of voltage across this potentiometer if the potentiometer if this uh, wiper is connected at this point we will be having the complete voltage across the potentiometer if it is at the center we will be having half of the voltage if it is at the complete uh, bottom it may be zero volts so here the linear motion of the wiper will give different types of voltages so displacement to voltage here also uh, instead of resistor just we are taking inductance across that we are measuring the voltage okay so variable inductance transducer so we are varying the value of inductance that leads to the change in the electrical parameter like voltage or current so an inductive electromechanical transducer is a transducer which converts the physical motion into a change in the inductance so that's what i am saying linear displacement physical movement into a change in the inductance value the inductive transducers are mainly used for displacement measurement we have to remember this point because in the next video i will explain the concept of lvdt linear variable differential transducer or transformer linear variable differential transducer or transformer this concept is very 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 important which works with the principle of variable inductance transducer okay it's an application lvdt is an application of this variable inductance tra transducer where we are using the movement displacement so that the inductance value will vary and corresponding output voltage will also vary okay so this is about the diagram how we have this inductance transducer construction how the displacement will leads to the change in the electrical quantity like voltage so the inductance of one part increases from l to l plus delta l while that the other part decreases from l to delta minus uh, l minus delta l that means a small change will be there suppose because of this displacement what happens see consider this first diagram what happens in the first diagram we have taken the l value from here to here half exactly half we are measuring then it is a complete inductance value from here to here we have complete total inductance value but in the output side we are measuring half of the inductance l1 l2 l1 and l2 suppose l1 is equal to l2 when this wiper is connected exactly at the center 
Suppose we are making a little displacement in this viper movement towards in the up direction, upwards direction. Then what happens? This L1 decreases slightly by an amount of delta L and this L2 increases by an amount of delta L. Suppose if the same displacement has been done downwards, then L1 may increase by an amount of delta L and L2 may decrease by an amount of delta L. So depending on upwards or downwards direction of this viper movement, and that means depending on the displacement, the inductance values we are changing. Okay, so this is what the linear differential output transducer, linear differential transducer, linear differential. So the, the displacement is occurring in the, in the linear fashion so that the inductance value will vary, the corresponding output voltage will vary. In the same case with the rotational matter, angular differential, differential output transducer, the same, see from here to here, here to here, we have the complete inductance where the, the what is this? Uh, coil is wounded by a core main material that is ferromagnetic core material. In between this L1 and L2, there we have complete inductance, but we are taking some in, in the center, we have taken some viper and from there to there, we are measuring. Okay, here all those, here also the same case. So the change in measure, the change is measured as a difference of two resulting in an output of 2 delta L instead of delta L when one winding is used. Suppose only one winding used is used instead of 2, then we have to go for the output across 2 delta L. Okay. So this increases the sensitivity and also eliminates the error. So because of this we construction, it eliminates the error and sensitivity of this instrument also increases. So this is all about inductor transducer and previously we have seen a thermocouple transducer. Uh, this the inductor transducer is very important to, to understand the uh, linear, linear variable differential transducer which I will explain in the next video. Okay. Thank you.